Hi, hello, welcome back. So, Danya here. Today we will be discussing about ICD 10 CM Chapter 12 Disease of Skin and Subcutaneous Tissue L00 to L99 Guidelines. So, if you are watching my channel for the first time, I am I'll introduce myself. I'm Danya. I'm a CPC certified trainer and uh, we are regularly posting videos regarding medical coding. So you can check all the playlists for this. So we'll enter into the video for skin and subcutaneous tissue. First thing what you will be learning is pressure ulcer. Pressure ulcer is also known as bed sore or degubitus ulcer. So whenever we are coding for pressure ulcer, the first three character of the code is L89 and the fourth and fifth character will identify the site and sixth character of the code will tell you about the stage. So when uh, talking about the stage, stage 1 is non a blanchable erythema of intact skin stage 2 is partial thickness or skin loss stage 3 is full thickness skin loss stage 4 is full thickness skin and tissue loss unstageable obscured full thickness skin and tissue loss deep tissue injury persistent non blanchable deep red maroon or purple discoloration so unstageable pressure ulcer in case of unstageable pressure ulcer at the place of stage that is sixth character you should assign zero so the documentation should clearly say that it is unstageable for unspecified if there is no documentation regarding the stage then it is considered as unspecified so at the place of stage that is the sixth character of the code we will give nine so next guideline is patient admitted with pressure ulcer documented as healed healed means what it is cured so no need to assign code for this documentation it's very easy and very simple uh, guideline for chapter 12 once you do practice questions now you will clearly understand this guideline next comes pressure ulcer documented as healing healing means it is getting cured so you have to read the documentation very clearly and see at what stage the pressure ulcer is getting healing okay so we have to give the stage code as healing stage code if it if they are saying like at stage 2 it is healing assign uh, stage 2 there for example i'm saying okay next patient admitted with pressure ulcer evolving into another stage during admission evolving means what changing or progressing so in this case if a patient is admitted to a hospital with a pressure ulcer at one stage and it progresses to a higher stage first you have to code for site and stage at the time of admission and second code site and highest stage during the stay two codes will be assigned Next, pressure induced deep tissue damage that is the deepest layer of the skin is getting affected. So, at the place of stage you will assign 6 for this pressure ulcer deep tissue damage at the place of stage you should assign 6. And then comes uh, these are the few codes for uh, pressure induced deep tissue damage you can see the code series all the sixth character will be mentioned as six if you put six at the place of stage that indicates deep tissue damage I am not reading all the codes you can just read and see next comes uh, non pressure chronic ulcer non pressure chronic ulcer refers to the ulcer that are not caused by pressure but by underlying disease condition like vascular insufficiency diabetes or other chronic diseases so here it is not happening because of pressure it is happening because we have another disease condition because of the disease condition the patient is getting pressure ulcer for this we have l97 and l98 code so same guideline is implemented for non chronic pressure ulcer also if it is documented as healed no need to code normal pressure ulcer it is l89 whereas uh, non chronic pressure ulcer it is l97 and l98 non pressure ulcer documented as healing Healing means it is getting cured. If the documentation does not provide information about the severity of healing non-pressure ulcer, you have to give unspecified severity. So these are the things like in the previous, like for normal pressure ulcer, we saw no the same guideline is implemented here for non-chronic pressure ulcer also. There is no difference in that. 
patient admitted with non pressure ulcer that progresses into another stage we have to assign two code first site and stage at the time of admission second code for site and highest stage during stay please make a note of all the guidelines and keep so that it will be helpful for you while preparing for your cpc exam as well as uh, if you are preparing for medical coding interview also it will be helpful example here a patient with diabetes has a non pressure chronic ulcer so here because of diabetes only the patient has got non pressure chronic ulcer so first you have to code for type of diabetes second you are coding for non pressure chronic ulcer third you have to code for the causative organism if it is mentioned so in the question it is given no it is infected with staphylococcus aureus since the organism is mentioned here third we are coding for the organism so that's all about uh, chapter 12 guidelines it's a very simple guideline hope you all understood if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment also and uh, we are providing cpc training and basic training also if you are interested to take up the training you can contact us thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe thank you take care bye bye